Hey everyone, uh, today we'll be looking at this mono blue tempo list. Um, so I'm using the uh, Gabriel, a slightly tweaked version of the Gabriel Nassif list from Grand Prix Lille. Um, I think the Pro Tour, there was one version of the deck that did pretty well at the Pro Tour, but I think it was tuned for the Pro Tour meta, so that's not exactly what the um, kind of general field looks like. Um, I'll, I'll go through the list. So the, the deck wants to play these kind of um, agile one-drop creatures that are kind of hard to block, 1-1 one, one flyer, 1-1 one, one can't be blocked, um, and put a curious obsession on it and basically deal two unblockable damage and draw cards. You want to draw um, cheap counter spells to stop your opponent from dealing with your little um, tempo-y flyers, um, and then in the end game, you want to play out your Tempest Gins and finish the game with that. Um, there's a bunch of sort of tempo cards, a bunch of counter spells. Wizard's Retort um, works with a, some of the wizards that you have in your deck. You're running four Merfolk Trickster, uh, four Storm Tamers. I believe those are the only wizards. Um, your Tricksters will tap down your opponent's creatures. Your s uh, one copy of sleep can uh, jam a bunch of your uh, little two drops in for lethal. Um, that's basically the game plan. You have four dive spell. That's basically a dive down. That's basically a one mana counter spell. Um, when someone's trying to kill your creatures, you can uh, give your creature hex proof, and that stops it from being targeted. So if your opponent tries to uh, shock a miscloak herald that you've equipped your curious obsession on that will counter the spell um in the sideboard we've got a uh, one sentinel totem for uh, graveyard decks for golgari um, a couple of disdainful stroke for uh, decks that play planeswalkers basically um, and control um, essence scatter for uh, more creature matchups it's good against um aggro um, negates for control diamond mares for burn and for aggro Exclusion Mage for creature-based decks um, where you want to just kind of bounce things out of the way. Um, it's not good against decks that have a lot of uh, enter the battlefield abilities, so it's not great against Golgari because, um, you know, you don't want to bounce a, chuka a Chupacabra and have them kill another creature. It's, it's kind of good against, like, Angel's um, token decks because you can bounce a token to kill it. Um, Chemister's Insight, uh, a little bit of extra draw against Control. Um, another sleep for basically Golgari creature matchups where they might clog up the board. Um, you can get a bunch of just little small creatures down and then sleep your opponent and basically attack twice for lethal. Um, Selective Snare is good against uh, Angel decks, um, Drake decks, um, and the Bo uh, Boros or white, red aggro decks that play a lot of tokens. Um, you can basically bounce, if you can bounce four of your opponent's knights, that's a big blowout. Um, yeah, so the deck, tempo deck, you want to play tempo plays. Um, try to always stay one step ahead of your opponent. And uh, let's get into some competitive constructed games and try that out. All right, first game here against uh, Kawan S. Our opponent wins the uh, coin flip here. I think this hand is just fine. We've got a miscloaked herald and an obsession. Uh, we can potentially protect it with our storm tamer because it has the um, the ability to protect another creature by countering a spell. So I think this hand is fine it's a little bit sort of on the low end but we've got an opt to get there our opponent is playing aggro so they're going to have a lot of shocks and kill spells we will see if our herald survives it does not as we expected Um, I think we're just going to pass here and hold up the ability to 
Mm. I guess there's nothing that we would really want to counter. I mean, I was thinking maybe he um, lightning strikes our face, but I, I don't think that's worth giving up the creature for. Um, what we're really holding up is opt. I like spell pierce here because our opponent is not found their second land yet. So that gives us the ability to save ourselves from another shock. Let's go ahead and obsession first. Play a storm tamer. This lets us, uh, I mean, this lets us play both a creature and spell pierce something. Um, whereas if we hold up the trickster, we only get to play the trickster and he's using his creature to destroy my storm tamer anyway. See what we draw first. Another curious obsession is good. Um, let's play a storm tamer and pass. End of turn, play our trickster. Let's go ahead and diversify our threats. The threat here is more card advantage than an actual damage. That's the real value in um, Curious Obsession. I really want to draw another land, so I'm just going to go ahead and play the chart, of course. There we go. So now we've got um, a great form of protection for our storm, storm tamers and dive down. And our opponent wants to go straight to game two. Our opponent got a bit unlucky with their draws there. Okay, so we definitely want to bring in two Diamond Mare. I think one Essence Scatter. I think we have, hmm. let's see. Our the worst thing that our opponent can do to us is play Goblin Chain Whirler into a bunch of our one toughness creatures. Um, I think War Kite Marauder is not great. I think counter spells are less good. I think another Sleep is good. Gonna go ahead and take out two Marauders. Two wizard retorts. Um, spell pierce is much better against their uh, their burn spells. And I think that's basically about how I want to play it. Our opponent will be on the play again. This hand is fine. We can either turn one opt into turn two, hold up something to uh, keep the board fairly even. We do want to find some more action beyond this trickster, though. Let's 
possible we could have mulliganed and looked for a one drop because our ability to play tempo here is valuable. Just gonna pass. If they play a chain whirler, we want to counter it. Hmm. Opponent's down to two cards. I'm just going to counter it. Next turn, I can play both a tamer and end of turn player trickster. This also lets us hold up wizard's retort. Um, so end of their turn, I'll either counter something or have played a trickster. And then that sets us up next turn to start um, getting in with our Curious Obsession. Hmm. That's fine. I think we want to just um, trickster our s their Steamkin so they can't get in. I should have waited until they uh, moved to combat because um, they might have been thinking about trying to play a burn spell to pump that up before comment or, or combat and potentially making a slight misplay but it's fine want to attack with both here if he blocks I might dive down We're going to, I think now we want to sort of save this for Experimental Frenzy. Hmm. Nah, Chain Whirler is pretty good. And we have another one for a Frenzy. Frenzy is really the only way he gets out of this because now he's going to be at a severe card disadvantage. Um, I'm going to be able to still protect this with a dive down even if he had a Mountain Shock in his hand. Draw two more cards. Hmm. And we'll pass the turn. A lava runner's fine. Yeah, that's right. They still haven't played any uh, instants or sorceries, so he's still small. This might be either a Frenzy or um, a Phoenix. I don't think it's worth blocking here. Potentially could have sort of fake attacked with this to try and uh, lure him into blocking with something for a trade and then basically killing a creature with dive down, but I like having the chump blocker up. Let's see. The most damage our opponent could deal would be this goes up to two. He plays two instants or sorceries. We counter them. Um, so two, four, eight. So we want to leave the blocker up. We can uh, play this and double block the steamkin. Tapping his steamkin. I don't think that we need 
to play Sleep to Survive. I mean, hopefully that's just a mountain and something that we're going to counter. Mm. Yeah, you, you, you're not going to be able to do anything with all the mana you're going to get off the Steamkins. Tap down the biggest one. All right, we've um, convinced our opponent not to attack here. Here we basically have a uh, game. Two turns of attacks, and that'll be just about it. Your opponent will not untap and be able to attack. And good game. All right, that was fairly straightforward. Um, Burn's one of our bad matchups. Um, they can play a little bit faster than we can. Um, but we ended up doing... Okay, based on a little bit of luck, our opponent um, didn't draw their second land for a couple of turns in that game one. And then game two, we were able to um, start going off with our Curious Obsession, showing off basically what our deck wants to do. And we ended up getting there. I think this hand's excellent. Turn one, Herald. Turn two, Obsession, holding up Spell Pierce. Hopefully draw more, excuse me, ways to protect our Herald. You are welcome to opt. You always want to counter the spell that they draw with opt rather than the opt, in my opinion. The fact that they're doing this main phase on two mana signals some sort of weakness in their hand to me. Like they might be missing their third land drop. They might be missing any action at all. So I think I want to just keep them off of whatever they're trying to draw into. I really want to draw the extra card this turn because we're starting to uh, draw a little bit land heavy. Um, I think we basically want to just hold up. I don't know what we'd exactly be threatening. We don't really have any counter spells that we'd be threatening, but yeah, we'll play our trickster end of turn here. Get in for a bunch of damage. Draw three cards. Yeah, our, our opponent's um, failure to be able to interact with us really, um, really impeded them. Let's see, do I want to play... Let's just play another Herald. I, it, in, it, it sort of increases our clock if they keep playing uh, blockers for the Trickster. Right, because I would be dealing eight in two turns, and now I'm dealing ten in two turns, so potentially shortens our clock. Sure.
almost lethal. Goodness, that is a lot of cards. Um, I mean, this game is just about one. Just play some stuff. I don't know what they could have. I mean, the most we could do is play these is basically why I'm just playing stuff out. stop you from getting whatever you're looking for, or at least having the mana to play it. Not let you do anything. And let's sideboard. Let's see, against Drake's slash control, I like Disdainful Stroke. I like Essence Scatter. I like Exclusion Mage. Um, let's see. I guess I don't like Essence Scatter. They play a lot of instants as well. Um, the only creature that we want to counter is Drake. Let's see, I, I guess they don't play any four drops that aren't the Drake, so the Essence Scatter is more flexible. Um, I think Marauder's not great. I think Trickster is just a worse version of Exclusion Mage against this because we want to force them to keep uh, playing their Drakes um, and using the four mana to play them. So we'll trim down a couple of those. Um, trim a Spell Pierce as well. I still don't think I'm the best at sideboarding with this deck. I think that I might be not sideboarding too precisely. This hand I don't really like. I've got a lot of um, expensive cards with only one island. I only really like keeping one land if I have um, one drop Curious Obsession because then it's um, I have a good chance of drawing into the second island, um, especially on the draw because then you have another chance of drawing the second island. But um, just on the draw, with no opt, no curious obsession. Yeah, this hand is potentially much better. Um, keep the two drop. Potentially um, spell pierce an opt or something. Nope. Play this on our opponent's end step. I assume they want to draw a card at some point. Um, this isn't the best creature to use our obsession on, but in the current situation, I want to draw more cards. So here we are. Okay, so they're they're playing a version that plays Enigma Drake. Let's get a nice tempo play here. God, who misses Reflector Mage? you imagine if he couldn't play this? This is how you play a tempo deck. That's fine. Do something to add to your board while essentially s um, stripping your opponent of their turn.
I'm holding up a counter. See now, um, a sort of cool little interaction you can get with this deck is bounce something and then counter it. So he spent nine mana on this Essence Drake, and I dealt with it by playing two creatures and then countering it. That is very strong tempo. At this point, it kind of feels like we've done a good job of locking our opponent out of the game. All right, off to a quick 2-0 start. Oh, nice. I did not have four of those yet. Sand is great. We've got our um, best start here. Although our opponent is on burn. There's always the possibility that they um, hold up their firebrand and wait for us to try to cast an obsession. We do not have spell pierce. Let's see what they want to do. And they'll kill it in main phase. Right there, what he should have done was wait until he had more information. Well, I guess I was tapped out. So never mind, that's excusable. Cuz otherwise I could have had dive down, played a second land, had a counter spell up. I think we want to pass and then pre-combat tap his lava runner with our trickster. I'm just thinking if we want to tap his firebrand to stop him from being able to use the um, ability at any time. Nah, I think it's better to just tap the Lava Runner. He could play another Shock and then give it haste. Or er, plus one. Exactly. Okay. Saved ourselves a couple points of damage. Alright, we're going to play that back. I think as soon as we get the island, we play this as a um, Chain Whirler blocker. Sure. I think our... Um, one blue X bounce creatures of a certain type spell is might be actually worth playing against aggro because you could choose either goblin or wizard because um, the pyromancer is also w a wizard. That's just a thought. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. What I'm thinking about is we could curious obsession our trickster. If he blocks with Chain Whirler, we can dive down to make it survive and then kill his Chain Whirler. I mean, we could also opt and look for a land, um, play our Miss Cloak Herald with the intention of obsessioning it uh, the turn after. Let's opt and look for a land. Hmm. 
Never lucky. We would just trade with the lava runner. Um, here. If we draw a land, we can obsession double dive down our miscloak herald against his two firebrands. Our opponent um, proactively prevents that. Gosh, we cannot draw a third land. Five, six, six draws. All right, yeah. Um, <laughs> like I mentioned in the first matchup against Aggro, uh, they're a little bit favored. Um, I don't really like Exclusion Mage because of Chain Whirler and Pyromancer. Um, and a lot of their stuff is hasty anyway. Um, we like our Diamond Mares. We like our Sleep. And I want to try out the Selective Snare. I'm going to go down... A spell pierce. Go down. A couple of those. And a marauder. Please give me a land. Please. I keep because we have one drop Curious Obsession Scry. Gonna have to go for the land. Ideally, I would have played Diamond Mare as soon as possible. Okay. There we go. See what we draw before we um, commit to anything. This will probably draw a removal spell. I mean, e so with the diamond merit, like it's easy for them to kill. All they need is a wizard's lightning or a lightning strike, but that essentially is gain three life, discard a card, which against burn is pretty good. And then if they don't deal with it, it's gain five life until they finally get rid of it, then discard a card. So it's got a pretty good floor um, and a very good ceiling against burn. So I think it's worth including for the matchup, especially on arena where um, these burn decks are so common. Um, it's just a good strategy. He can ping it, but... Kill two cards, it it got enough value to be worth um worth it. I mean we're dealing more damage and look at how many more we have twice as many cards as our opponent. Um hmm. Jin or Trickster Opt looking for the fourth land. Let's play a blocker. We have um, a few ways to draw. This uses our mana most efficiently.
This can later be blocked by a miscloak herald. This will eventually become a 2-2. Two -two. Probably pre-combat trickster into opt. End of turn. Oh, I forgot to... Forgot to do my thing. Let's see, he only has one card. Let's even be real fun here. Yeah, that's probably another land. All right, with um, with all of this, unless this is um, experimental frenzy, which it is not, I think that we've just about wrapped up here. Let's opt a once or twice first. Um, yeah, we want the uh, wizard's retort. Now we play Storm Tamer and wait to counter their Experimental Frenzy. If they play Mountain, I double opt. Yeah, that's fine. Take one island. That doesn't really help us. And this sets us up for lethal. Oh, we no longer have a wizard. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we still ended up getting there. Basically ran our opponent out of cards there. Um, let's see. On the draw, do we want to change anything? Possibly want to play a little bit more of a tempo game on the draw. We could play um, some exclusion mages to kind of counter their, their phoenixes maybe. And then counter them with um, Essence Scatter. Let's take out a Spell Pierce. Um, our opponent's going to be on the initiative. Let's trim down a Dive Down. Trim. Uh, I want to go down a Sleep and a Snare and bring in one more Mage. That hand was terrible. This one is excellent. I'll keep a gin. Our, uh, our first few plays are fairly scripted and we'll have uh, hopefully a bit of draw.
That's fine. Okay. Opponent again running low on cards. They also mulliganed. That is very bad. I wish that I had a way of dealing with that. Um, well, let's see if we can get there with our um, pumped up gin. No land. Try another one. While the frenzy's up, the exclusion mage is basically kill it. Um, we have blocking to dive down. Lethal on board. Did our opponent run into a second land? Looks like our opponent ran into a land. GG. All right, we got there. We are three and zero so far. Nice. Put that in our uh, Pro Tour winning white aggro deck. Always want to play first. This hand's okay. Um, keep the island. I like the chart, of course, that we have. Okay, we have opt. Hold it up as if I have a counter. Let's see, what does our opponent reveal? Ranch Walker. All right, looks like they're playing um, standard Explorer Golgari. I want to just try to kind of get a little bit ahead on cards before they um, sort of fully develop their mana. Especially since I'm kind of flooding out here. But We attack with both. It's going to be a little bit of a race to see if we can finish them before they sort of fully develop everything when I'm not drawing any of my um, interaction. Play another flyer. Um, 
Little trickster the ranger before combat. He may be um, planning to use his contempt on my threat. He does. They. Hmm. Do I want to trade? If I double block, he can pick which one to kill. I'm down on resources. I'm winning the race, so I think I want to not trade there. Move one, two, three, four. We have lethal in flyers. Okay. I'm gonna counter his planeswalker ability. I, I feel like some people might not know that you're able to do that. It says spell or ability and planeswalker affects um, our abilities, so that does work. Let's see if I can draw a curious obsession. I can't. That's fine. I don't have lethal, so I'll use one creature to kill his Vraska. a few pads to lethal here and I can counter one threat. Okay, you can kill this, but... Alright, game two against Golgari. Dive down. Uh, well, let's add cards first. We want our disdainful strokes. We want negates for planeswalkers. We don't want exclusion mage. We like sentinel totem. We like sleep. don't like Wizard's Retort as much because we've got more tailored counter spells that are less conditional. Um, I think that we don't like our Wizard as much. I think we don't like our Marauders. I think we'd like another Essence Scatter. And I think that we don't like Spell Pierce. Their only spells um, are going to be Planeswalkers. And they'll, they they would have enough mana to play around it if the uh, game gets grindy. hand has a good amount of interaction so I think we'll, we'll keep it on the draw. Can basically play with open mana for the conceivable future which is oof. However we draw into our Basically, best tempo play. They're not doing much. Yeah, this is 
This is starting to look good for us. So they don't take the initiative, so we're going to steal the tempo with our uh, Curious Obsession draw. Okay. They find the answer. Now we kind of want to <laughs> just leave leave our options open. Hope we draw land. Playing the um, control side of the deck. That's what we brought it in for. I think we want to continue to hold things up. Hmm. Yep. Now we kind of want to race with our uh, our Jin and our Herald against this Ferox. We don't have a, a a really clean way of dealing with it. Looks like our opponent has sort of run out of steam a little bit. Now we can potentially even... Um, Pay to trickster it before combat. Um, if we draw an island, we have lethal. With sleep, we now just have lethal with the trickster. All right, it looks like uh, we did a good job of dealing with our everything our opponent drew. All right, he gets back his. Plague Crafter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's lethal. All right, good game. We drew the island as well. What did we get? Almost there. Hand is fine. Four and a half out of ten. Opponent taking a little while to think. Probably Golgari again. Um. Yep. Same as last game. We're just going to play an opt end a turn. Yep. This is all familiar. Wow, drew two lands. That's crazy.
gosh. Do I want to draw? Play a flyer. I feel like we're kind of racing here. Could have also held this up for turn four Planeswalker, but I haven't been seeing... That there is a four mana of Raska, right? I feel I feel like I haven't been seeing that played. They've been playing the the bigger Vraska, haven't they? Uh, it's been a long day. I don't know what they've been playing. Okay. Use our destroy target creature. I think we're gonna draw here. Counter something big if they have it. Eh. I don't know if this is correct. Now I've really run out of gas. Wish that both of these islands were spells, but they are not. trying to think of lines where I instead of playing so I could play this pre-combat tap this block dive down if he attacks um, I could wait for attacks flash it in then block the midnight reaper dive down I think that's best and then take the three Golgari doesn't have a lot of fast damage so y you can really use your life total as a resource against them um, so I don't mind taking the extra damage um, if I get to kind of trick him into sacking his Midnight Reaper. Because right, when you play this pre-combat, it basically eliminates an attacker, but... Uh, okay. I don't think this card is that good. I think that there's... You might as well just play a find broker. But... Whatever. If we can find a gin, we've basically got the game in the bag. Beautiful.
me and you strike nature. What else you got? Sorry, I'm being a little quiet. I'm trying to think about what I want to do in response to attacks. Um, he has no mana to use it. I think we basically just try and kill everything off. I can take two damage a turn for three turns. Hold that up as a facade and pray that we draw a Jin. Our opponent, um, I think we wait to play this in combat so that we can kill off their squire. Don't really care about the Lanowar elves. We've already got plenty of mana. Game two. All right, Golgari, what did we do last time? We brought in these, these. And let's do that. Looks good. Takes a few turns to, for them to have. The earliest they can kill this is basically turn three Plague Crafter. So by their turn three, we want to have um, another creature and dive down up. Or the two mana instant um, kill a non-legendary creature. Rip. <laughs> that is so lucky. Wow. I wish there was a uh, apologize emote. Looks like that's what they're playing turn three, so we should hold up our essence scatter. Hopefully we draw. Okay, so now we have Island into Jin holding up Dive Down. Basically running away with it. We have a huge um, 
way ahead on cards now. Next turn we can play Obsession. Hexproof does counter uh, creature abilities, unfortunately. Yeah, it's uh, very difficult for our opponent to come back now. We already have lethal. Let's just look for defense. There's no reason to um, commit another card. This will let us um, protect our gin, and then we can attack for lethal with our last island. Um, Braska's Contempt would keep them alive for another turn, potentially, but... And on the draw, we like the uh, Exclusion Mage counter their card plan. Do we? Let's do a split. I don't know, like... The two drop is sort of... good. Bouncing isn't that great, because they're playing so many explore creatures. Nope. Uh, on the draw. All right. It's not the worst. Turn one, play dude. Turn two, start keeping up mana. Wow. That is something that I do not mind seeing. Turn one, do nothing. Turn two, do nothing. Yep. We do like that island. Now we really want Exclusion Mage. Oh. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Tempo Blowout. Turn one, do nothing. Turn two, spell countered. Turn three, do nothing. Yeah. And now we can do nothing. We can counter his Midnight Reaper. Our opponent actually uh, missed their land drop. So it looks like they've got a bunch of big stuff. They found it. That's fine. We were successful in our uh, our plan. Although now we're kind of running out of stuff. We're just kind of hoping to survive. We would love a, a gin. We would love a one drop. We would love basically any creature. That's a lot of value. I don't like that.
a little bit of a question whether or not we would negate um, a kill spell. Because the Planeswalker is where he turns the corner on us. Nothing we can do about that. Play a Planeswalker. Play Veraska. Play Vivian Reed. This we would play a negate to s protect. Five damage on board. Seven damage on board. Yes, give us cards. All right, well, this is, um, if we're going to come back, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's great. Pre-combat, tap the squire, play this, kill a chupacabra with dive down block. Potentially keep the dive down to protect our chin. All right, they don't. They don't have a kill spell. Let's go ahead and opt first. That being the payoff. He has to block, which is fun. We'll draw three cards, which will hopefully include a way to survive. All right, four, seven. We get there. That's a great set of um, nothing they can do to win now g set of cards. Wow, what a comeback. That was such a good series of um, of draws for us to really turn around and come back from that game. That was very close. Great series. All right, we got there. Undefeated five wins with mono blue tempo. Um, I hope that was uh, informative for all of you. I hope um, you got something out of watching that. It's a pretty tricky deck to play. Um, I'm honestly surprised that I got all the way there. 
Um, go ahead and buy a few hard-earned packs here. Um, yeah, it's a very fun deck. It's very budget-friendly, um, as many have said. Definitely a good deck to get started in to learn um, some of the complexities of playing competitive constructed, learning to sideboard. It's a hard deck to play, and it rewards good play. Let's see what else we get here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Um, leave any suggestions for future decks that you want to see me play. Um, subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a lovely evening, night, morning, or afternoon. And so long.